Middle School Art Teacher at SSIS. I'm very fortunate to be able to teach the students that they can make a difference through art. My final Kotel project was a collaboration with the purpose of helping endangered animals. I wanted to successfully and meaningfully collaborate with a class in New York. The students need to be truly connected with their body and be inspired by the task. It's really cool because this is like the first year I'm taking art as like a serious course. My last school wasn't that serious and getting to like do stuff with like people that I've never seen and live so far away and their lifestyle is so different and seeing like how like their art is and how we can put that together. I think that's like really, really, really cool. Um, I'm looking forward to like working with someone in New York. So, Why? Because they're living like on the other side of the world. Um. Our first step was to have our students meet each other. They had to get to know their interests and actually build a connection so that they could work together. To achieve this, the students created a digital collage with the Superimpose app. They then created a video which was uploaded to YouTube. We merged it with the collage in ThinkLink. The final collages were added to Padlet and Edmodo. Having a central platform for communication was crucial to the success of this task. Vicky put hers in, please give some feedback. What I've got here, I really like the drawing, but I do understand the proportion thing. Maybe make the bottom of the head thinner and the top of the body thinner as well. But you are a great artist and I'm excited to work with you. And then she actually responded with a thank you, I'll try and improve it. So that's exactly the communications that we were looking for on Edmodo. After sharing information, connecting and communicating, it was now time to introduce the task properly. So what were the students collaborating with? And how was it going to help endangered animals? They were required to collaborate on book pages inspired by Graham Bass's Animalia. Sales from the book would go towards a charity that helped endangered animals. Both the students from Vietnam and New York were responsible for the parts of the same pages. I really wanted this task to be collaborative rather than cooperative, meaning that the students really needed each other to actually complete the task. After we had read Animalia, I told my students that I had been in touch with Graham Bass and he was happy to answer any questions. So New York and SSIS wrote letters to him using the Lifecards app which we then shared via the Google Drive. He actually replied to us via email and the students were hooked. The students had a choice of doing alliteration, the animal, or designing the background. They got to vote on their moto and then jump straight into their jobs. We received PowerPoint showing us what they were doing in New York and there was regular communications on Edmodo. Once all completed work was uploaded into the drive, it was then time to layer them using Superimpose on the iPads. Our students did that because they had more experience with the iPads and layering so it made it quicker. We then printed the book pages and New York gave us feedback on Edmodo. Each student had drawn their animal and researched why it was endangered. So we combined those things to create research pages at the back. That way every student's drawing was included in the book. Then we layered the three research drawings into one picture, which became the image that was printed on the book cover. Um, I had a really great learning experience um, I went through the miscommunication and the like fixing it all, but I really like I really liked working with the students and then because it was our first collaboration with like another country, 
so I think it worked out really And communication well. wise, would you change anything with that or are you happy with how it went? I think I should just, we should, we, we should both tell like each other how we really feel and like what things like we should actually think that we, it should change like so. Page and I think overall and uh, the changes that I made, the ending result is quite pleasing because the words, the alliteration, everything fits together really well. It really draws the attention of the hero and the reader into the page. And I think that my partner Gianna and I did a really good job on this page. And what do you think of the project? I think that this project is really new and it actually really helps us open up to people that's not just in Vietnam but outside of our country and to spread the culture and to just become friends and make new friends around the world. Yeah, well, we have top two, I uh -huh. guess. Yeah, so like, like defenders. Like yeah. the first two. Yeah, the first two, I guess. Okay, so it's defenders. Yeah, maybe let's get that. So we've got Defenders of the Wild, or of Wild, and then the Maya Foundation, which is Bhutan as well. Okay, great. And why are those two the top ones? Because, well, I think I think the third one is the organization is already too big. So maybe our, many people already donate to them, and I think these two need the money more. New York introduced us to the website, The Charity Navigator. This was an amazing one where we could type in the charities that we were interested in, and we could see how they were spending their money. So the students could see that their money was going to go to a good cause. After they had the results, they then voted on it on Edmodo. The last step was of course the publicity. So this is taking it to another level. The students are required to use social media, plan a book launch, and basically sell their book to raise as much money as they can. We did meet our goals, in particular the ISD standards, Students demonstrate creative thinking, construct knowledge, and develop innovative products and processes using technology. And, students use digital media and environments to communicate and work collaboratively, including at a distance, to support individual learning and contribute to the learning of others. One of my main goals was to reach the redefinition level on the SAMA model. This image summarizes that perfectly. Technology allows for the creation of new tasks previously inconceivable. Without a doubt, this task is completely impossible without technology. We could not have connected with New York and Australia, layered out from two different countries, set up an online shop, publicized our book with social media, published articles and created commercials. Even just the creation of the book and merging of the designs and ongoing communication across the globe is definitely redefinition. One of my goals was to have students inspired by the project and I think they really were either with the connecting part, the actual task or that they're raising money and making a difference so they can really see that art can make a difference. And overall now, as far as engagement, signing up for jobs, enthusiasm, it worked really well. My students really liked working in pairs and with a New York buddy so that they could talk together, share ideas, delegate jobs. Um, one could write on Edmodo while the other one was creating. That also really, really helped. So overall, I couldn't be happier. So what did I learn from the experience? Well, first of all, proper communications with the supporting teacher that you're collaborating with. Make sure that you have a phone number that you can contact. Texting was amazing. Even if we're sending emails and Google Docs, we could remind each other through text that so was very instant and they could just say received. So I highly recommend that. So having a good way to contact the teacher. Look at the timing of when you collaborate. For my collaboration, because of the Kotal deadline, we had to do at the time that we did. But New York had only just started school. So they were settling in for the first two weeks. Some of the students were shuffled around, people were still being removed, we couldn't pair them up, they couldn't choose their animals, so there was a lot of waiting. And that was a lot to do with the timing. Also, New York had uh, classes that were 40 minutes and we had 80 minutes. So it always felt like we are doing a little bit more, which we didn't mind, but it meant that we had to explain it to the students because they kept commenting on that. So once they realized that really we're doing 
double the time, but we really should have double the work represented. So looking at the timing of classes, how often they happen, how long they are, really does affect your collaboration. Having a central platform, Edmodo was amazing for this task. Being able to create small groups really, really helped. They had that continual chatting. Not all students did, but again, my students got to learn empathy and realize, okay, this student doesn't speak any English, she's just arrived to the school, so you're not going to hear from her, but she is doing her work. When you see some photos, comment on it. So they had a different experience from it. Another thing to consider is technology access. I was coming from a school where the students had laptops and iPads in the art room, so it was almost two to one, plus their phones. But in New York, they had to book into a lab to access the computers for Edmodo. They did get some iPads, but they weren't being used quite as regularly as ours were. So maybe connecting with a class that has that technology, it really helps with the, especially with the regular communications. Also, something like Edmodo, the students need to be prepared to put in extra time at home because you want to use a lot of your class time for creating the artwork um, ready to post and share. So if the students aren't quite as invested and prepared to do it at home and have that communication a bit like Facebook, then um, the communications aren't as strong.